So hello there students, welcome back to another video lesson. So on our previous video lesson, so tinuruan ko kayo kung paano mag ng linear equations using three ways which are using two points, using the x and y intercepts, and then using the slope and a point. So for this particular video lesson, i-describe naman natin yung graphs ng linear equations. So it has something to do with trends of the graph. So makikilala nyo dito ng mas mabuti yung uh, positive slope, negative slope, zero slope, and then undefined slope. So, kasi apat lang naman yung types ng slope. So, let's start. So, for our lesson objectives, we will determine the relationship between the slope and trend of a line. And of course, we will identify the trends of the line using its slope. So, the trends of the graph of the equation of a line. The trend of a graph of the equation of a line can be easily determined through its slope. So kapag trend po kasi yung pinag-uusapan po kasi natin dito, makikita natin kung uh, increasing from left to right ba siya, decreasing from left to right, kung horizontal ba, and then vertical line. So using the slope. So doon kasi natin ma-identify kung ano yung trend ng graph ng linear equation. So let's have positive and negative slope. An equation with a positive slope goes upward from left to right. So, sabi ko nga kanina, increasing from left to right. On the other hand, an equation with a negative slope goes downward from left to right. So, yung kabaligtaran ng increasing, decreasing. So, decreasing from left to right. So, yung positive slope po kasi para siyang uphill, paakyat. And then, yung negative slope naman po, downhill, pababa. And then, we also have zero and undefined slope. An equation with a zero slope has horizontal line as its graph. Okay, so kapag zero slope po kasi, horizontal line po yung kanyang graph. So, it means pahiga. And then, on the other hand, an equation with an undefined slope has vertical line as, as its graph. So, kabaligtaran ng horizontal line is vertical line. So, kung Yung horizontal line, zero slope, pahiga. Yung vertical line naman po, patayo, undefined slope naman po yun. So, let's have example number 1. Graph the equation y is equal to 2x plus 4. So, sa pag-graph ng linear equation, kailangan po natin dito yung 2 points. So, ang gagamitin po nating method na lang dito is yung x and y intercept. So, x intercept muna. So, we set y to 0. So, write lang natin yung equation y is equal to 2x plus 4. And then, we substitute y is equal to 0 to the equation. 0 equals 2x plus 4. And then, ilipat natin yung 2x sa left side. Okay, so magsusubtract tayo ng 2x from both sides. So, magiging negative 2x equals 4 na lang. And then, we divide the whole equation or we divide both sides by negative 2. So, the value of x is negative 2. So, yung isang point po natin, negative 2 and 0. Next, yung y-intercept naman po, so we set x to 0. So, magiging y equals 2x plus 4. And then, y is equal to 2 times 0 plus 4. So, 2 times 0, that is 0. So, 0 plus 4. So, that is 4. So, the value of y is 4. So, yung isang point po natin dito is 0 and 4. So, since may dalawang points na po tayo dito, yung next na i-identify po natin is yung slope. So, kasi makikita natin yung trend ng graph dun sa slope. So, yung ating equation, sulat lang natin dito. y is equal to 2x plus 4. As you can see, nakasulat po siya in slope intercept form. So, ibig sabihin, yung coefficient ng x dito, which is 2, yun yung slope. So, our slope is 2. So, yung slope po natin is positive. Okay, so ibig sabihin, yung trend po ng graph natin dito is upward. 
increasing from left to right. So, i-plot po natin yung mga intercepts. Negative 2, 0 and 0, 4. So, negative 2, 0 nasa x-axis po siya. And then, yung 0, 4 naman nasa y-axis. Okay, so since naka-plot na yung two points natin, i-connect lang natin using a line. So, ayan po. So, kung mapapansin natin, upward po yung kanyang position, yung direction po niya. It's because positive slope po kasi. Okay? So, ayan po yung equation ng, or yung graph ng equation na y is equal to 2x plus 4. So, again, yung slope po niya is positive, kaya po, increasing from left to right. So, yung trend po niya is, Ayan. Increasing from left to right. Next, example number 2. Graph the equation 2x plus y is equal to 5. So, kunin natin yung x-intercept. We set y to 0. So, 2x plus y equals 5. And then, we substitute 0 in place of y, so magiging 2x plus 0 equals 5. And then 2x equals 5. And then we divide both sides by 2. So 2x over 2, that is x. And then 5 over 2. So 5 over 2 or 2 and 1 half. Pwede rin namang 2.5. So yung una nating point, sulat lang natin dito. 5 over 2, and then 0. So, kahit alin naman dyan ang isulat natin, so, doon na lang tayo sa improper fraction. Next, y-intercept. So, we set x to 0. Sulat natin yung equation. And then, we substitute x equals 0 to the equation. So, 2 times 0 plus y equals 5. So, 2 times 0, that is 0, plus y equals 5. So, the value of y is 5. So, yung pangalawa nating point, 0 and 5. Next, kailangan natin i-identify ngayon yung slope ng ating equation. Since yung ating equation nakasulat in standard form, kailangan po natin siyang i-transform into slope-intercept form. So, sulat lang natin dito. 2x plus y equals 5. And then, we need to subtract 2x from both sides. So, magiging ganito na siya. y equals negative 2x plus 5. Okay. So, nasa slope-intercept form na po yan. We can now identify the slope, the coefficient of x. So, yung coefficient po ng x dito is negative 2. So, the slope of the given equation is negative 2. As you can see, negative po yung slope natin. So, ibig sabihin, yung trend ng graph natin is downward. Okay, from, decreasing from left to right. So, plot natin yung mga intercepts. 5 over 2, 0, and 0, 5. So, 5 over 2 and 0. So, yung 5 over 2, that is 2.5. Ibig sabihin, nasa gitna po siya ng 2 and 3. So, ayan po siya. And then, yung 0, 5. Nasa taas po. So, nasa y-axis po siya. So, meron na tayong two points. So, pwede na po natin silang i-connect. Ayan. So, as you can see, uh, decreasing siya from left to right. So, downward po kasi siya kasi negative slope po. So, yan po yung graph ng equation na 2x plus y is equal to 5. So, let's have example number 3. Graph the equation y is equal to 4. So, as you can see, wala po tayong variable x dito. So, hindi natin ma-identify yung slope. So, kapag po ganyan ang given, hindi po present yung variable na x, it means yung slope po natin is 0. Okay. And then, what about the x and y intercept? Okay. Since wala yung variable x natin dito, wala po tayong x-intercept. Meron ba tayong y-intercept? Meron po tayong y-intercept dito. So, yung y-intercept po natin,
is 0, 4. Okay? And then yung slope natin is 0. So since yung slope natin is 0, ano ang trend ng graph natin? Okay. So horizontal line po siya. Bahiga. So, plot natin yung y-intercept, 0, 4. So, ayan po yung 0, 4. And then, since 0 slope nga siya, ganito po ang magiging graph niya. Horizontal line po. So, and then, i-label natin, yan po yung graph ng y is equal to 4. So, tandaan, kapag po 0 slope, horizontal line po. Next, example number 4. Graph the equation x is equal to negative 1. So, dito naman po, hindi po present yung y. Okay? So, kapag hindi po present yung y, ang mangyayari po dun sa slope, undefined po. So, yun po yung difference between 0 and undefined. Kapag hindi present yung x, 0 slope. Kapag hindi present yung y, undefined po. Now, what about the x and y intercept? So, yung x intercept po natin dito is given. Negative 1, 0. Okay? So, and then, yung y intercept po natin since hindi po present yung y, wala po. Okay? And then, Yung slope natin is undefined. Ibig sabihin, yung trend ng graph natin is vertical line. Patayo. Ang kabalik tara ng horizontal is vertical. So, let's plot the x-intercept, negative 1, 0, sa Cartesian plane natin. So, yung negative 1, 0 na sa x-axis. And then, ayan po yung negative 1, 0. And then, we draw a vertical line, vertical straight line. Yan. To show the equation, x equals negative 1. So, I hope naging clear sa inyo yung difference ng graph ng equation na may 0 slope tsaka undefined. Okay? So, kapag 0 slope, horizontal line. Kapag naman, undefined slope, vertical line. And then, kapag naman positive slope, increasing from left to right, upward. And then, kapag downward naman, decreasing from left to right, Negative slope naman po yun. So, what's next after we discuss uh, the trends of the graph of a linear equation? So, we will determine the equation of a line. Okay. So, sa mga previous video lessons natin, laging present yung uh, equation. So, linear equations in two variables. So, for this particular video lesson, hahanapin naman natin yung equation of a line. So, given yung mga uh, points, yung slope. Okay? So, magiging madali lang naman yun as long as given yung mga kinakailangan. Ma-identify ma natin agad yung equation ng line. So, I hope naging clear yung discussion natin for this particular video lesson. So, maraming salamat sa panonood and mag-ingat po tayo.